I am Wilson Raj of 3rd BSc Mathematics CA and the assignment topic for me is introduction of graph theory by Konigsberg problem This problem was well known to all the mathematics people around the world because this was the starting point of the famous subject in mathematics which is graph theory This topic is also known as seven bridge problem in common So let's get started reasons for konigsberg problem first of all konigsberg is a city in germany which is around the prigl river there are two islands surrounded by the river the mayor of the place was karl this was in the year 1735 this island and the river was connected by seven bridges that's the place where the problem arose with the mayor so the mayor uh, raised a question which is which route would allow someone to cross all the seven bridge this was an unsolved mystery to him he thought a lot but he did not find a solution this spread around the place here where the help of oiler was needed which led to the new discovery in field of mathematics that is graph theory so let's get into the problem the seven bridge problem we can see there are four land masses that is a b c d and the seven bridges which is marked in the small letters of alphabet that is a b c d e f g the question by the mayor was a person should cross all the seven bridges once and reach to the same starting point for example if a person is starting in a he has to complete the circuit in a by completing going to the all the bridges but it was impossible that can be explained in the graph next to it from a there are three lines drawn to d and c so from a there are two ways to c from c there is one way to d and from d there is one way to b and one way to a and similarly from b to a and goes on F let's count the number of ways to each nodes the nodes are the four land masses that is a b c d so from a there is five ways that is small c d e b a from capital c there are three ways that is small c d and g similarly to d that is g e f those are the three ways and b a b f are the three ways so this is the explanation of the problem so let's see what is the actual problem of this seven bridges as we all know by the explanation given ahead that is it has odd number of roads nodes that is a has five nodes b has three nodes d has three nodes and b has three nodes this was unsolved mystery at the time this seven bridge problem does not have a solution at all so the only solution was that the only way to connect all the bridges is to double cross a bridge or to reach to a different land other than the land which was the start so these were the conclusion of the seven bridge problem by this euler discovered two laws those are are to be discussed in the next slide the first law of euler was that when two nodes of odd degree and all the rest are even the start and finish nodes are odd let's look at the example 1 and 1 it is an odd node but in between it has even that is 2 so this is the first law where it will start with the first and end in the second node that is at the last this is the first and it has a different starting point and different ending point the second law of euler was all the nodes are even degree 
then the Eulerian path will start and end in the same node, which is also called Eulerian circuit. Let's look at the example in the image. It starts in the first two and completes in the first two, which is all even number of nodes. So this is the second law driven by Euler. There is also an, a diagram which explains the odd and even node degrees according to the seven bridge problem. So by this, there are more discoveries about this seven bridge problem. Let's discuss that. First, this seven bridge problem remains unsolved. Then during the World War II, the bomb blast destroyed two of the bridges which made it as an Eulerian circuit. In the image given below, the two destroyed uh, bridges are removed and hence it forms an E, shape, uh, e symbol, which remains it as Eulerian circuit. But this was an unexpected event and finally it came to a solution, where this was the starting point of the graph theory and henceforth graph theory grew and grew. So these are the researches and informations on the introduction of graph theory by Konigsberg Bridge. This work is done by Wilson Rajas. So thank you.